So our goal is to simplify the following rational expression. Notice we have a fraction on top and we do have a fraction in the bottom. What we want, one good way of approaching this is to right away find the least common denominator of those fractions on top and bottom. And on bottom, the least common denominator is just x plus 2. On top, it's x minus 2 times x plus 2. So the least common denominator of both is x minus 2 times x plus 2. So I'm going to multiply by x minus 2, x plus 2 on both top and bottom. x minus 2, x plus 2. All right. Now, one thing you have to be careful of is this multiplication distributes. It's going to go to this piece and also to this piece. So in the numerator, when I do my multiplication, first off I'm going to have x minus 2 times x plus 2 times this one. So x minus 2 times x plus 2 over x minus 2. So that's distributing to this first term. Now we're going to distribute it to this second term. It's getting multiplied by 1, so that gives me an x minus 2 times x plus 2 all over x plus 2. Since all that we have in the numerator is 1, we could write the 1 in there and the 1 in there from here, but we don't need to. If there was something else, we'd definitely want to have it in there. All over. Now we're going to do the same in the denominator. This does have to get distributed. So x minus 2 times x plus 2 times 1. There's no fraction here, but we'll still have an x minus 2 times x plus 2. And then being multiplied by this one, we'll end up with plus an x minus 2 x plus 2 over x plus 2. A lot of writing. But we're actually going to help ourselves out quite a bit because now there's some canceling we can do. This x minus 2 will cancel with this x minus 2. This x plus 2 will cancel with this x plus 2. This x plus 2 will cancel with this x plus 2. So let's see what it is all we have left. All that canceled, I have an x plus 2 plus an x minus 2. In the denominator, I have x minus 2 times x plus 2. x minus 2 times x plus 2 plus an x minus 2. Okay. So we got a little bit more work to do, but we're almost there. So equals. Let's come down here. We can drop the parentheses on top. I have x plus 2 plus x minus 2, so nothing to distribute on the second set of parentheses. And on bottom, I'm going to foil these out. We have difference of squares here, so that's going to be x squared minus 4. Then I can drop parentheses on the back part, x plus x minus 2. Now I'm going to combine like terms. A uh, positive 2 and a negative 2 will cancel. So in the numerator, I get left with a 2x. In the denominator, I got x squared plus x minus 6. And that is as simplified as we are going to get.